Alexander van der Bellen has won Austria's presidential election, preventing Norbert Hofer from becoming the EU's first far-right head of state. Mr. Hofer led narrowly after Sunday's election but postal votes gave Mr. van der Bellen victory by 50.3% to 49.7%. Mr. van der Bellen campaigned on a pro-EU platform backed by the Greens Party. Mr. Hofer, of the Freedom Party, tapped into anti-EU sentiment and fears about rising numbers of asylum seekers. He conceded victory on his Facebook page. Mr. Hofer, 45, said it was a sad day and that he would have gladly served as president. But please don't be disheartened. The effort in this election campaign is not wasted but is an investment for the future. Relief Announcing the result, the Interior Ministry said Mr. van der Bellen had won 2,254,484 votes to Mr. Hofer's 2,223,458, a margin of 31,026 ballots. Mr. Hofer had led Mr. van der Bellen by 51.9% to 48.1% after counting on Sunday. But the 750,000 postal votes, roughly 12% of Austria's 6.4 million registered voters, swayed the result. Although Mr. van der Bellen, 72, is officially independent, he led Austria's Greens for a decade and some European Green politicians were hailing him as the world's first elected Green head of state. The campaign was fierce at times. Mr. van der Bellen said he did not want Austria to be led by a populist right wing pan-Germanic fraternity member and even urged voters who don't like me but perhaps like Hofer even less to vote for me. Mr. Hofer had been photographed sporting the German colors of the nationalist Marco Germania student fraternity, which stands for the German cultural community and bears the slogan honor, freedom, fatherland. At his swearing-in as Freedom Party candidate, Mr. Hofer wore a cornflower in his lapel, which was a Nazi symbol in the 1930s. French PM Manuel Valls said in a Twitter post, it's a relief to see the Austrians reject populism and extremism. Everyone in Europe must draw lessons from this.